Yeah, well, you can tell I didn't have I didn't have a very good sleep last night. But look, let's walk and talk. I want to talk to you more about this uh, this industry in general, uh, Asia, China. Uh, the Middle East, big growth markets. We're going to find out more because Ed Slack is uh, editor for the international, it's the international boat industry, isn't it? Yeah. Trade magazine. Yeah. Welcome to World Business Report. Thank you. Um, Ed, let's, I mean, let's start, let's start off with that super, those super yachts. Yeah. Now, I was just showing our world audience on board <laughs> yeah. the biggest, the most expensive. They are impressive. Seriously, though, I mean, sales seem to be doing pretty darn well in that industry. The, the, the market's picked up the last couple of years in the super yacht sector. Uh, it went through a bit of a lag. Um, the build times on these boats are so long that it wasn't quite hit as hard in 2008 as the rest of the industry. So it took time to feed through the pipe? It took, took time to feed through the pipe. It did eventually, and we've had problems with the Russian buyers uh, exiting the market. That's hit that industry quite hard. But they are doing well again. They're starting to fill the build slots, and people, there's an appetite for bigger and bigger boats. But where, where has the rebound come from, if, if, if the, you will? The, the, the rebound started back in the States in about 2010, about 2011, five or five, six years ago. Uh, but that was very patchy rebound. It was predominantly niche market product, smaller boats, pontoon boats, that sort of thing, which don't translate well to the world market. Mm. That's, that growth has gained traction over the last couple of years and is starting to trickle through to the rest of the industry. One big boon has been the uh, for the uh, European exporters since the uh, value of the dollar has gone up mm. against the euro. So the Italian builders in particular have, uh, have made hay uh, in the last two years there. That said, it's got tougher. Can I ask you this, though? I mean, I was asking uh, some of the, the CEOs of these big super yacht companies, yeah. and, and they're, they're a bit strong about, you know, yeah. obviously their clientele, but, you know, some will compare that size of a boat, that, that industry, that price tag, to buying a private jet, and some may say, yeah. look, buy, I, I, I've got this logic in buying a private jet. Yeah. Time is money, business is international. Mm -hmm. There's no logic in buying, throwing 20 million bucks no. into something that floats on the water, is there? <laughs> no, it, it goes against all logic, but that's why people do it. You know, sometimes they, they like being out on the water, um, these guys, I mean, one of the marks we have seen is the big gigi op market. That is boats 70, 80, 90, 100 metres in wow. size. And that market is starting to take off as well. Mm. So you get some of the, I mean, that used to be just the Germans used to build that big. Now the Italians are getting into it, it's the Dutch getting into it. And ultimately, um, you'll see the UK builders like Princess, like Sunseeker, they're going, you know, their, their ambition is to grow a bit. You know, build build bigger. bigger, build bigger, go bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger. Uh, the growth markets I mentioned, are, are there, is it the Middle East, uh, the Arabs, the Asians? Are they, are, are they we, buying? They, they, I mean, the emerging markets were key. They, they, they helped out back in 2008. They provided a lifeline to a lot of builders. Mm. Uh, they would trickle through some numbers to South America, to, as we say, China, Asia, the Middle East. Unfortunately, those emerging markets haven't emerged as quickly as we would have liked. Mm. Um, we all know the problems in Brazil. Uh, the South American market has taken a bit of a nosedive. Mm. That said, Central America, places like Mexico, surprise marks like that are doing really well for mm. some of these builders. And also, Middle East is, is okay. Um, Asia, China, mainland China is still, still not offering the potential. It's got massive potential, it's not there yet. Uh, the market, Hong Kong market, has always been a good boating hotspot. Okay. It's held back by infrastructure. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. We've only got about a minute left. Uh, these boat shows, yeah. they're extremely important. I mean, this is a $120 billion yeah. global industry. Yeah. A lot of these guys sell 75% of their yearly sales from, from boat shows, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that's been a market model. For, for, for generations here, selling boats, like as you said, so it's not like a car show. No, 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 no. They, they actually come here to trade and do some, some boat sales. I mean, you hear from Princess, you hear from something. They're selling boats here. Uh, they're key markets for them. And UK market is a key market on the global uh, on the global spectrum. You know, um, so they have to be here. Um, can last week, major market, really a lot of boats being sold. And the, there's a feel good factor coming back. There's but there's, really there's, there's, there's a ton of shows on the circuit, I mean, yeah. and it costs them a pretty penny, these, yeah. these companies, to be here. I mean, yeah. they've, they've got cranes lifting these boats yeah. in and out, and they're doing it, like, month yeah. after month almost. But, but back in 2007, we were building too many boats. We were also had too many boat shows. And a lot have fallen by the wayside uh, because these guys have decided we can't invest that much uh, money in, the, in, in these shows anymore. So we could pick the core shows, Southampton, Cannes, Dusseldorf, Fort Lauderdale, Miami... Oh. Monaco, they, they pick the key ones and they focus on those. Ed Slack, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. That's it. Follow me on Twitter. You can get me a BBC and plenty more from the Southampton Boat Show throughout the rest of the day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.